What is up, homies? Welcome back to What's up, homies? Welcome here. back to another trailer reaction from <laughs> Heroes Reborn. What's up, you punk ass bitches? Nobody uh, subscribing and shit. It's your boys, Hector, Adam, and Augustine. What's up? What's up? Uh, Yo, listen. We've had a doozy of a day, a heck of a week. It's only Tuesday night, very late, and we're barely now able to get around to this Marvel Studios special presentation trailer for the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. I don't know about you guys. Some elements of this may have been spoiled for me just by being on Twitter today. Who I haven't been on social media at all. Good, 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 good. good. Yeah, it's but excellent. I only have one thing going into this that I care about, and it's whether or not I was right in calling that Santa Claus himself mm. is going to appear in this. No idea. <laughs> but... Before we get into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, you sons of bitches. Turn that red button gray and make it okay. Otherwise, Rocket Raccoon is going to die in Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. Volume 3. Um, Hector's on a roll this is, tonight. This is also brought to us by the new co-CEO of DC Studios. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Mr. News Jimmy today. Guns. DC himself. Jimmy Guns. Uh, hey, yeah, say this right now, Jimmy Guns. Podcast. Say this right now, Jimmy Guns. If you need advisors, baby, you know who to call. You know who to call. We've been here for decades. So, yeah, Jimmy, just listen, let us know. We're going to save some of that spicy conversation for the next one. But I will say this. It, this is my only prediction for that is I'm expecting less marquee DC characters and more shit like mm -hmm. Polka Dot Man, which is not a bad oh, yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. It's sort of like when that news Plastic came out, Man's I was gonna like, get a movie, Hector. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Plastic Man's going to get a movie. Maybe before yeah. Man of Steel 2. That's all I'm yep. going to say. Yep. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adam. All right, you guys ready to watch this? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. This intro will never get old. Never, never get old. Ooh, I heard sleigh bells. I just saw on the calendar that right now on Earth, it's almost Christmas time. We don't have time for trivialities like Christmas. But Peter's so sad about Gamora being gone. If we go to Earth for a really wonderful Christmas gift, it would make him happy. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, no, don't don't go there. Nobody's happy on Hollywood Boulevard. Something special he will never forget. <laughs> what about someone special? We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary <laughs> Kevin Bacon. You said that, tracks. Your voice is small and mousy. I think maybe he didn't hear you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. That was a Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, Cosmo. Whoa. No way. Kevin Bacon, we have you. Again? That's wow. Is Kevin Bacon going to be the Santa Claus of this whole uh, of this special? <laughs> yes, yeah, maybe because funny. Everybody's got six degrees of separation from him, so yeah, mm -hmm. for sure, he's going to be the Santa Claus. That is um, so funny. I feel I I, I yeah. think the thing that like I think is so fun about where the MCU is heading now with introducing characters like She Hulk is that it can just openly play with how meta it is, and yeah. I think we're at a point now where you know we're all in on the joke, so it's just fun to watch those experiences kind of on a fold and maybe maybe yeah. get some funny from perspective from kevin bacon of like what it's like being because i mean he played a character <laughs> in other fox marvel movies right, so exactly. i think it's fun to kind of get that perspective like oh god you know what does he think about all of this stuff i think <laughs> i think james gunn can write that kind of stuff really really well yeah i think you're right <laughs> just seeing drax and mantis walking on hollywood boulevard is like hilarious it's so good <laughs> uh, yeah that's so meta it's those great the, though i those think those were the things that uh uh no go ahead augustine no you go for it i was just gonna say the two things that were spoiled for me from just being on social media was kevin bacon mm. and i had oh, no idea okay. if santa was in it or not and i was hoping he was but yeah. also the um this new like group form where he's pretty jacked he's pretty yeah, yeah i saw that i did see that yeah. one yeah Real quick with the little uh with the little so names. Do we think he's moment. full grown at that point? Because he still kind of has like a younger face. Maybe yeah. he's not fully. That's what fully he looks grown. like. That's what he looks like in the Guardians three trailer that I saw at Comic Con. Oh. So. Uh, okay, okay, like Thank like you for Jack, providing like that all, insight. All yeah, buff. like okay. like teen teen Groot face with our 
Arnold Schwarzenegger build. <laughs> I see. I see. So like a young, like a 20 year old almost. Yeah. Like he's like, yeah. like a high school senior who's like powerlifting yeah. for football season. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay. Um, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. It also kind of feels like it might be set up as like a, um, not, a, I mean, not officially, obviously, but yeah. it feels like it could be set up sort of as like a, um, like a prelude to Guardians three. Which is Absolutely. Kind of could Absolutely. Be. Look, look, Gar- guys, Gar- I'm watching this. I'm watching this on loop. Hector, and there is definitely a Santa in several shots. Well, that, There's that, that inflatable that, Santa in inflatable, several shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And All so right. that confirms that Santa exists. <laughs> there is a Santa. You can't have a, a Christmas special without Santa at least his silhouette flying across the moon somewhere, right? Yeah. Or something. Yeah. He, I, who's going to play him, Kurt Russell? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> He'd be great. Yeah, Kurt Russell I, would I, be crazy. I want to party with Drax and Mantis, but also... Dave Bautista in Palm Clementia. Like they, they, <laughs> all four of those individuals seem uh-huh. so awesome. I love yeah, them very, very yeah. much. They seem wonderful. It, it back to your point, Adam, about like this setting up Guardians Three. Like Guardians Three, I'm sure is going to wrap up whatever storylines were started in Guardians mm-hmm. One and Two. And mm-hmm. even this is tying up a loose end, which is that Peter Quill worships kevin bacon and Mm -hmm. that kevin bacon represents some memory and fondness of earth and his adolescence and he's either gonna have to confirm like it's all very jokey and haha but knowing james gunn this is probably going to get us emotional and it's probably gonna have something i mean they're tying it into his grief with gamora losing gamora remember he mentioned kevin bacon in the first guardians movie as he was falling in love with gamora on that platform Mm -hmm. overlooking the Mm -hmm the 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 stars when they were on nowhere or whatever so like that's all significant that's all important and um it, it's it's gonna be now that james gunn with this deal is like exclusive to dc i did i wasn't i wasn't uh gunning pun not intended for him to do like guardians 4 or everything but mm-hmm, i was mm-hmm. maybe thinking he could like produce any other guardians centric projects going mm-hmm. forward right like he could produce a guardians 4 with another director coming in and Maybe not directing the exact same characters, but maybe a different combination of characters. I feel like James has taken special care of these characters, but I think especially because characters like Rocket and Groot are these like CG animated characters with performances. And I'm really thinking of the character Nova, Sam Alexander, who like his origin deals with Rocket Raccoon and Gamora visiting him when he's on Earth. Mm-hmm. And then and then he like goes off on his adventures that I would love to see some of these characters continue on in other projects. I mean, similar to how we just borrowed them for Thor Love and Thunder. Now, maybe we don't see Star-Lord. Now, maybe we don't see Drax or Mantis, but I would love to see that the new version of Gamora that's still floating around from Avengers Endgame. I'd love to see Rocket Raccoon. I'd love to see Groot. I would love to see Mantis continue. I'd, I don't know. Like Some of these characters, I think, can, can live past Guardians 3, depending on what the story is. But I would also be okay with just us using other characters and telling other stories because <laughs> Jimmy Guns yeah. has been killing it with these guys. I don't know what to tell yeah, you. Like, he's, this been, looks he's, awesome. been, he's been doing great. And I feel like the Guardians um, came in and made a giant splash. Um, as far as them in the pantheon of all the rest of the characters, though, I, I don't feel like they've had as much character growth or development as the other characters have had. So I'd be okay with the the group disbanding. We're still we'll still see any of the other characters and other and any other projects that you know they fit in. But as far mm-hmm. as like the guardians, I'm okay with them breaking up and this being their mm-hmm. final their final movie yeah. with the next one. Yeah. Plus James Gunn's the type of guy like when he says he's done, he's done. Like I know he's clearly got other huge projects happening and there's uh, obviously <laughs> The biggest project he's got going on right now. So, <laughs> but we'll save that for an episode of Chexicans. So, yeah. <laughs> then into the next episode of Chexicans because it's going to be a spicy one. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to yeah. this. It'll be a nice way to wrap up the year, get into some. Well, I guess, yeah, this will come out after Black Panther. So, it'll be a nice way to kind of wrap out the year mm-hmm. as we head into the holiday season. I mm-hmm. didn't think it was going to show up in December, but I'll take it a little bit early for Thanksgiving weekend. Why oh, not? Absolutely. Just yeah, means yeah, we'll get yeah. to see it maybe a little, little bit earlier than that. So <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Looking forward to it. Of course, let us know your thoughts and theories in the comments below. How do you think this is going to tee up Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, if mm-hmm. at all? Maybe some other cameos. If Santa Claus shows up, who do you think he could be played by? Subscribe if you have not already, and we'll see you in the next reaction. Bye. Bye.